Hello there, welcome back to PC Guru channel. In this video, I will teach you how to automate the encoding of names or other needed informations on your certificate project in Adobe InSign. Let us get started. First, what is Adobe InSign? Adobe InSign is a desktop publishing and part of Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. It is a typesetting software application produced by Adobe. It can be used to create works such as posters, flyers, brochures, magazines, newspapers, presentations, books, and ebooks. Now to start our naming automation. First, create a certificate in Adobe InSign, or you can create it from any graphic authoring software, then import it on Adobe InSign. Here, I already created a simple certificate for this tutorial, duly signed by the Academy Director and the Program Director. And when you are done with your certificate. Next, open Microsoft Excel and create a data set. If you have a database management system, you can simply export this record in the form of a .xls or .xlsx file, or you can directly export it as .csv. Or if you have no database management system, I am sure you have files like a master list of your workers, students, or event participants. Organize the data in Excel according to the needed information of your certificate. done, export the file as a .csv or comma delimited file, to a location you can easily access. What is a comma delimited file? A comma delimited file, also known as comma separated file, is one where each value in the file is separated by a comma. It is a standard file type, that many different data manipulation programs can read and understand, including Microsoft Excel. After you have made your source file and saved it in .csv file extension. Go back to Adobe InSign. Go to Windows, then Utilities, and choose Data Merge. What is Data Merge? Data Merge is generally referred to as a specific InSign feature, to merge a data source with an InSign document. Now on the Data Merge panel, click this menu button. Then select, Select Source. Locate your data source you previously created, select then click open. After that, you will see the data merge panel populated. You will see the headings we created for each column on the source file. Next, drag the first name from the data merge panel to the first name text box on your certificate. Take note, you need to make sure the first name text box is long enough to accommodate long names. the same with the last name. Again, like that of the first name text box, to anticipate long last names, drag the right text box handler to the right. Next is the certificate control number, this time we will not drag the left text box handler, far to the left because the control numbers are uniform in character length. I said left, contrary to the previous text boxes because I made the paragraph style of certificate control number to be aligned right unlike the previous which are aligned left as you noticed the content of the text boxes it was replaced by the headings of our data set made in Excel enclosed with two inequality signs on both sides it is because it is represented now by variables when we say variable meaning the content or value of this text box will vary or change in this tutorial, this variable can be the names of all the entries from our data source. To see the preview, just hit this checkbox button right here. If you are happy with it, click this square with a little arrow pointing to it. Let us first orient ourselves with this dialog box here. 
Here we have three tabs namely, records, multiple record layout, and options. Under records we have, all records. You choose this option if you want to merge all records. Single record, if you will merge only one record. Range, I usually use this option especially, if I am printing hundreds of certificates, and wanted to make batch prints. And of course, for my computer not to do a taxing grind in processing an enormous number of documents. This little drop down here, is explained by this handy helpful information on the right, and the easy to understand graphics below. This option right here is useful, if we are printing documents, that contain two or more merged records on a single page like raffle tickets. Or you want to have two certificates on one page for design preference, or economic reason. Since we will be printing one certificate per page, we just leave the default value. It does not matter this time anyway. The checkboxes here are just like checkpoints, or options for error notifications, so don't be bothered by them. Right at the bottom, is a preview checkbox if you want to see your certificate what it looks like, with the data on it. The next tab is multiple record layout, again since we are not making multiple records on one page, this will not have any effect on our layout. Despite that, let me just give you a glimpse of what is in here. Here are the details of your margin around the document. If you want to tweak the margin to suit your design, these are the values you need to manipulate. In this area, the flow or arrangement of records, whether to arrange the records horizontally or vertically. Moreover, this part is if you want to adjust the spacing between records. This option here, I usually leave this by its default values. Now, going back to record tab, if you already set everything right, according to your preference, just hit OK. Wait while Adobe InSign creates a merged document. If it's done, it will show a dialog box like this one. Just hit OK. As you can see, Adobe InSign creates a new numbered document named after the original file. Keyed to Pages panel on the right. You can see that InSign created various pages, each bears the names and the control number from the .csv file. Hope this video helps you in your certificate projects, and saves your time and become even more productive. If you found this video helpful, like this video and share it to your friends, so that they might also benefit from this information. If you want to be notified of my future uploads, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Until my next video, good day.